Oh yeah, lots of stuff all around. And there's a creeper. <laughs> Heard you that time. Hello fans. How are you today in the wonderful internet land? And hello there folks. This is your Uncle Troy. Today we are playing Minecraft and we are deep down in a cave. We were looking for diamonds. And actually we found diamonds. Let me pull up my inventory. We found eight diamond ore, which we managed to get with our silk touch pick. Unfortunately we do not have an... Uh, what's it called? What's the one that gives you extra stuff? Fortune? Yeah, unfortunately we do not have a fortune pick just yet. More diamonds, more diamonds, woohoo. So we will not uh, not be mining those just yet. And we're also picking up redstone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're also picking up redstone. Let's see. And unfortunately my efficiency unbreaking pick here is about wore out. So we might have to make us a new one at some point. Oops. Yes, I know I'm wasting about half of these. But right now I'm just basically... Okay, so we uh, actually came out over there in the last episode and saw this lava pool and started mining around it where we found some extra diamond over there. I guess if I'd come out a little closer here, I would have seen this diamond over here. So let's see, from what I can tell, we have something underneath that diamond there and underneath that diamond there. So it's actually safe to mine them, he says. Now, of course, there may be... Ah! Of course, there may be more diamonds under there. We'll have to dig down and find out. And apparently not. Apparently, this is all just... lava under there. <sighs> nothing under there. Nothing under there. Okay, well... Oh, all sorts of iron and the like up here. Yes, I hear you, spooky cave noises. A good efficiency pick offsets the uh, increased uh, mining time of holding down the shift key when you are, for example, sitting right next to lava. Okay, so we've got this down here. Kind of wondering where this goes. Nowhere. Good, good, good. Alrighty, now. I have several levels. Oops. But I did not bring an enchanting table with me. So when this uh, pick goes out here in just a minute, which I'm afraid it will... I will not be able to enchant another one. I'm going to make me do, 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 a furnace, which we'll leave right there. And I want, let's see, where's my iron? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that'll make me enough for about two uh, iron pickaxes. And two iron pickaxes. Hello, Mr. Spider. Mr. Spider, who's not apparently where he thinks he is. There we go. Okay, this is a big open area, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, lots of stuff all around. And there's a creeper. 
heard you that time. I'd actually seen you earlier. And knew you were coming to get me. Alright, so this is a big open... Yeah, lots and lots of places to die. Okay, let's see here. Most efficient way of using my inventory space now. Let's see. I kind of want to hold on to everything. Because I'm kind of out of inventory space. I also kind of want to... mine around over there and see if there's more diamonds. Let's uh, start with that, shall we? See, I'm kind of debating on whether I want to try to make my way back to the surface and drop some of this stuff off before I continue exploring. See, if I do that, if I make a big production about going back to the surface and dropping this off in a chest and then coming back down to... Uh, do more mining. That's when we'll just determine that, you know, that big area I opened or I opened into there. I'll determine that that was all there was. And then the mine or the uh, cave will end and there'll be nothing more to explore. On the other hand, if I stay down here and keep mining and digging until my inventory fills up and I start giving away, you know, good stuff, just throwing it away to make more room. That's when we'll discover that I'll be stuck down here for three days. Oh. Another open area. I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to save. Let's see. Save the lava. For reasons I'm never quite sure of. I just know that if I turn all lava into obsidian, I'll turn around and re suddenly realize that I really needed that lava for something. There we go. Water annoys me sometimes. Some more gold. Good, good, good. Some more iron. Good, good, good. Dead end. Good, good, good. Well, since we've already filled up a whole inventory slot with a few extra coal, we might as well get the rest of this. That might also be considered throwing good money after bad or something like that. And I'm certainly not trying to just use up this pick while I'm here not too far away from a workbench and can make a new one. Certainly I'm not doing that. All right, do I want to continue this around, hoping to find more diamond? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Zombie. All righty. Unfortunately, unbreaking picks. Yeah, tend to break and reappear several times before they're finally gone. Yep, see. Alright, I actually heard a clank that time. So that one is gone. Alrighty, now... Let's see, where did we leave that workbench over here? Right here. Okay, let's see. Planks. Can't remember how to make iron picks. One, two iron picks. 
We'll make us a chest here because we are about out of inventory space. Let's put away some cobble. Um, <laughs> what else? Oh, more cobble. I don't want to like throw away the cobble because I may need it during my next uh, my next project. Will end up needing cobble. On the other hand, yeah, I think I want to. Mm -hmm, yeah. Let's go look at this again. This looks like a lot of space to explore. Looks like this will go on forever. Ooh, lapis. One block of lapis. Okay. Oh, the difference between efficiency three and plain old unenchanted iron. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff around here. And one dead skeleton. Okay, so... What I think we need to do is... We need to mine our way up to the surface. Uh, find our main base. And then uh, come back and... Hmm... Let's see, I've gotten turned around. And I'm not sure where... Well, we're still in plains, so we're probably still underneath that island where we come down. I'm not sure the best way to dig up to the main base. So I'm just going to pick a direction at random and start digging. And see what we find. And apparently we're just going to find tons of resources. And... Hello. Interesting cave of wonderful things. So I didn't get far at all before I ended up in a new cave. All right, so. Whoops. Let's instead spiral our way up relatively certain we'll end up in the same place where we started and more cave oh wait I see some lights up there so we've actually been in this cave before or somebody has but we've not explored it very well hello dungeon of some kind And I see spiders. This may be a spider dungeon. Oh. Of course, there's some zombies. Did anybody get a good look at that spawner? Does anybody know what type of spawner it is? Oh, spider. Alrighty, let's see. We've got some wheat, gunpowder, string, iron bucket... And over here we have, ooh, cocoa beans. Actually, cocoa beans aren't as big a deal as they used to be. So, anybody that wants this uh, spider spawner, here are the coordinates. But I will take this iron. And I will come back, and I do lay claim on this mossy cobble here. Okay, let's see. We went there. And now it looks like we've got sheesh, a lot more cave. But we were going up the surface to drop some of this stuff off, weren't we? And we can get to the surface right up here, we think. <laughs> yeah, because there's some of the big dark darkness we were trying to avoid and here's 
yeah, we got some lava there, so we shall continue our spiral up and hope we come out under land because it just occurred to me that I'm on a peninsula and even if I come out on not in the ocean, there were a lot of water around there. There were a lot of water. There was a lot of water around there. But it just occurred to me if I go off exploring caves, I will not be able to find my little cave back down. And I will not find my way back down to diamond level. Alrighty. Ah, here we are. And I started down there, going down there. This over here is the one that came over here and ended, right? Okay, so good, good, good. Moo to you too, sir. And by, ba by base, I mean like camp or something. Alrighty, let's see. We can throw away a lot of this cobble, string, flint. Cocoa beans. We only need to keep one arrow with us. A whole stack of that. Let's see. Where's our workbench? And I just put away all my cobble, didn't I? <laughs> We're going to make us several more furnaces. Yes, that looks nice. And maybe another, uh, chest. And I'm wondering if we can do this. Hey, we can. Alrighty, let's see. What do I the wheat? Sticks. Alright, uh, do, do, do here. Iron. Oh wait, no, we can't. Uh, we can't smelt diamond, can we? <laughs> and uh, yeah, knew there was a reason why I made more than just one chest, and that actually don't need that. Is that my own delayed footsteps, or is that something else? Go away. Go away. There you go. And I think what I used to do is used to divide up uh, my iron into like as many uh, furnaces as possible. But somebody told me that if you get a full stack of iron out of the furnace, you get more experience. Alrighty, and we will uh, set aside our valuables here. Doop, doop, doop. Iron ingots. Don't need the flesh. Don't need our extra buckets. We'll make us some more torches here. And the sun is going down, so I think this is another uh, good place to end an episode. Harvest up our wheat here. And I may make a quick overland trip back to the base to pick up my enchanting table. I did not realize I would be picking up this many levels. Uh, just exploring around uh, yes good 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 uh, this is about the right size for your uh, wheat farm because oops let's see I think I had extra wheat I do about the right size for a wheat farm because every time you come back to it you will find that you have grown more wheat and it's ready for harvest Alrighty, well, as my various items smelt and as the sun goes down, this is Uncle Troy signing out. Please have a good night.